Hi everyone, welcome. I'm in my entryway and today I'm going to decorate it for Christmas. I'm going to show you how I decorate this little wall here. And uh, this is the most exciting part for me as far as decorating this entryway because I'm going to be using all my Mackenzie Childs inspired nutcrackers and they really pack a punch. They're gonna make a real impact when you walk through my front door. So I'm so excited to show you that. I'm going to just very quickly dress up this door here with a little wreath. I'm going to do my stairs. That's a lot of work. Uh, I never look forward to that, but I always love the look after. And then just a little something on top of the entryway going into my dining room from the entrance. So I hope you will come along with me. It's going to be a lot of work, but so worth it. This video is part of a collaboration called the This Is My Thing. So we get together monthly and we present to you a video of our choosing. So this month I am sharing with you how I've decorated my entryway for Christmas and you will definitely see my love of nutcrackers and my love of anything that is Mackenzie Childs inspired. I'm going to link in the description box the playlist for this collaboration, so please visit it to see what everyone else has done and see what their thing is. Okay, as mentioned, I'm going to be decorating this area right here first. I took this painting off of my kitchen wall. I was never really 100% happy with it in my kitchen. It may end up back in my kitchen, but I took it down when the kitchen was being painted and I thought, you know what, this is the perfect opportunity to sort of put it somewhere else and see how it goes. And I think it really looks beautiful. And the dining room just to the left of it is in blacks and uh, beige and gold. So I think it works very nicely. But enough about that painting. Let's decorate right in this area. Do you recall these two little nutcrackers that I purchased at HomeSense just a few weeks ago now? They are so perfect on top of this pedestal here. And I put them together, of course, they sort of come as a pair. And I've placed the larger one on top of this riser here. This is actually a little cylinder box that I've decorated. And you've seen me use it before. I placed it right on top of this pedestal. And they are the first two of the nutcrackers that I'll be using today. Okay, do some of you remember this guy from last year? Some of you may not. He is one of my most prized possessions. I absolutely love him. He was purchased from Amazon last year. He was quite pricey. I think by the time all was said and done, he was almost $300. But honestly, I did not care. I just thought he was absolutely perfect. He is, I think, about two and a half feet tall. I wanted him to have even more presence than that. So I put him on top of a little pedestal to make him even a bit taller. And then in front of him, I placed this guy. He is so fantastic also purchased last year from Amazon, very similar looking to the one behind him. He has some gold on him. I think he looks so regal. I love that there is this thistle here on um, his stick here, his baton. What I love is that the thistle is the symbol for Mackenzie Childs. So I believe that the manufacturer of this piece truly was looking to make this quite Mackenzie Childs looking. So this is what my guests will see when they walk into my front door. I love these guys. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. And I'm so excited about them. And I really hope to actually add to this collection of Mackenzie Childs looking 
nutcrackers because I am just crazy about them. Here on my laundry room door, which is a door you see from my entrance, I placed this wreath. I like to dress up this door because of the fact that you see it from the entrance. And uh, right next to it is this wall, which I really don't ever do anything with. So I feel like it's really important to put something on this door to really dress it up and sort of complete the look of the entrance. This does light up, I will show you that in a moment. But what I did was I took these picks. I had picks from a project last year. I'm done with that project. I took the picks off that I made with this Harlequin ribbon. I tied it together with some more Harlequin ribbon that I dovetailed at the bottom. And I made sort of this makeshift bow that really I think ties in beautifully with the Harlequin pattern on the nutcrackers that you just saw me decorate with. For some dramatic effect, I'm showing you how this looks lit up at night in the dark. Now let's decorate the top of the entryway into my dining room. I'm trying not to show you too much of the dining room. I have it all darkened out there because it is already decorated and that's coming in a future video. It's really, really cute and I hope you'll enjoy that one. What I did here was I took this black felt, a whole roll of it, and you'll see that at the very back of this whole piece here. On top of that, some ribbon in that black harlequin pattern, and then bows at each end. And in the middle, this green sparkly bow that I purchased at Dollarama. And then right in the middle of that bow is this little sort of quirky ornament that I made last year for my Mackenzie Childs inspired tree. And I thought it was the perfect look for the middle of this whole piece here. This is a view if you're coming down my stairs, this is what you see. And so that Harlequin pattern really ties in nicely with the nutcrackers that I now have in the entrance. Flocked garland moved from the basement to upstairs, some flocking already on the floor. This is going to make a huge, huge mess, but when it's all said and done, it's going to be beautiful. As I mentioned, a nice big mess. Now, this is only one garland. It's partial way up the railing already. I just wanted to share the process with you. And for those of you that do not have flocked trees or gardens, just know they do make a mess. This in particular makes an even bigger mess because it's very heavily flocked. So my Christmas tree is flocked, but it doesn't make quite the mess that this does. So just be sort of forewarned about that. And I wanted to also share with you, you might see sort of a tie in there. What I did was I took two large twist ties, tied them to each other, and then wrapped them around my banister so that these stay. And what I will do is trim down those ties if they stick out and that way you won't see them. Our garland is now in position and I have vacuumed up the stairs so they look good. And I have not put any garland on this railing here, nor the one up above. This is something I'll be doing at a later date, but definitely in time for the Christmas home tour. I went ahead and dressed up the garland with this beaded garland that you see here with red, green, and gold sparkly little balls there. And then I have a couple of picks I added, and to those picks I added this red shiny ribbon just so that the picks would stand out a little more. To finish off the stairs, I added this swag right here. So this is a swag that I use 
every single Christmas on the outside of my home on my front door. This year I decided to do something a little different and I'm using it inside and through wear and tear and the elements being outside for so many years, the original bow and ribbons that was here was quite um, just very worn. It was really dusty. It had faded. It just was not pretty at all. So I replaced it with a little makeshift bow here with some of my Harlequin diamond ribbon. I had the ribbon coming down exactly the way the original bow and ribbon were on this swag when I bought it. I purchased this swag many years ago at Walmart for $20, I believe, and I love it. Sometimes you just score a piece that is a forever piece, and this for sure is one of those. So that's what it looks like against the stairs here. And now I'll show you the entire entrance.